Of course, the High Courts in Johannesburg this afternoon confirmed that Lerato Sengari, as the customary wife of deceased double HP artist Jabulani Tambo, Judge Rata Motlakeng says that as long as both parties are 18 years or older, there's consent and Lebona negotiated and agreed that constitutes a customary marriage. The judgment follows an urgent application of by Sengadi to stop WHP's funeral for which essentially was planned for tomorrow. Our reporter Lopang Alamu attended the court proceedings this afternoon and now joins us in studio. Of course, a very good evening to you, Lopang. Uh, just take us through this huge family spat that we've seen uh, throughout the course of the week leading up to the court proceedings. Initially, she had filed for uh, the funeral to be halted tomorrow, but that was not the case. Well, of course, um, we'd understand that last week, sometime last week, uh, Jablani Zambo, WHP's father, actually denied uh, Lerato being the wife of uh, uh, um, WHP. This because he says the Lobala negotiations were not concluded. So this then means that he does not personally recognize her as his wife. But of course, today we saw in court that uh, Judge Mokwatling say, saying that she is the legal customary wife because then there were three, um, there were th the three things that the law takes into account. Are they both over 18 years old? Do they both consent? And is there a negotiation of any sort? And in this case, Lerato and Jabba's uh, uh, arrangement met all three requirements. So that is why today she was declared the legal wife of Jabba. Of course, the funeral will take place tomorrow. That's the only thing in her affidavit that she did not get um, because we know that um, it was stated that Lerato wants all the personal belongings of Jabba to be returned back to their home in Rand Park Ridge and also the fact that she needs to be granted access into that house that they once shared as well as the father uh, basically handing over everything, the remote controls, you know, we understand that he also had changed the locks of the house, also the hard drives but not, limit, not limited to only those things. So it was a very, very uh, messy court case but of course many people argue that it was really fair. Yeah, let's just talk about uh, the funeral proceedings which are set to take place uh, tomorrow. The judge also highlighting uh, the prevalence that Double HP had. He was a public figure and of course that this is going to be a huge funeral and that proceedings were essentially already underway for tomorrow. Well, of course, and another thing, the fact that the family had already spent so much money in preparing for the funeral and also the fact that the government was involved, the provincial government is also involved in uh, the funeral. We understand the family, friends, Everyone, a lot of people, thousands of people had traveled to Mahi Gang where a lot of them had booked in. So this was going to be a very big inconvenience and that's exactly what Judge Ratam Kwatling said. He said that Ubuntu needs to prevail in this instance. The fact that yes, Lerato does have the right to stop the wedding, but in this case, he will not grant her the interdict to stop it because of those cases that we've mentioned. Yeah, we saw a very uh, emotional Lerato in court today, also sighing a sigh of relief as the court was uh, handing down judgment. Have you been able to speak to Lerato or a family representative to see how they've received the outcome? Uh, definitely. We spoke to Lerato after the court proceedings, and she says that all she ever wanted was for Jabba to be laid to rest, you know, to have a dignified funeral and also to have a very dignified sent off. Of course, she wanted him to be buried in Johannesburg, saying that this is what they had both verbally agreed upon uh, before he died. But unfortunately, that did, not, uh, that did not happen today in court. But she says she's really, she, she's happier with the fact that she is now legally recognized as the wife of Jabba more than anything else today. And of course, on the other hand, we had Jabba's family initially just after his passing saying that they, of course, didn't recognize um, her as his life partner or their daughter-in-law. Um, there were also issues around the wedding, of course, which came up in court. Uh, not allowing her or having any space to have any say in what was happening. Have you been able to speak to Jabba's family on, on them possibly obviously being happy that uh, proceedings are set to go forward? And essentially, how are the dynamics going to change now if Lerato does have something to say and does want to change some proceedings at uh, the funeral, rather? Well, of course, we did ask Lerato and the, the Lerato's uh, legal representative, and it seems as though she might not cause so much trouble. Another thing that we do not know is, will Lerato attend the funeral? We tried asking her that, and we'll just have to wait and see if indeed she does go to the funeral tomorrow. I guess the biggest thing here being the fact that the people who wanted to go pay their last respects to Jabba can do so. And also they did rule today in court that Lerato can attend the funeral. She's not being barred from attending the funeral. The family does not have a choice at this point as the court says that Lerato 
should she decide that she wants to attend the funeral, she can do so to go pay her last respects. Definitely. Thank you very much for giving us that update. That was SABC reporter Lobang Alamo. Of course, she was in court proceedings.